All right, this game goes to 11. This is one of our favorites here at Fair Game. It's from Game Right Games, a uh, fantastic maker of games. Uh, we love them. And it uh, came out last year. Uh, a lot of fun for families. Uh, you, you might notice if you're a fan of the movie that it looks a little bit like this is Spinal Tap. Outside of the fact the box is bl black and has a little bit of a guitar rock and roll theme to it. Um, and the title is, says that this game goes to 11. Uh, that's all the spinal tap to it. Um, the rest of it is really, this is just a counting game. Uh, it's for two to six players, ages eight and up, so it's great for families. When I say it's ages eight and up, uh, what, I, what I mean by that is, I guess, anybody that can count and add to 11 can play this game, because that's what you're going to be doing the whole way through the game. So let's take a look at what's in the box. Instructions. Uh, I will go ahead and... Uh, explain to you how to play the game so we won't need this for right now and then we'll take a look what's in the box. So inside the box we have the deck of cards which looks like a guitar amp uh, on the back side and a guitar pick. The guitar pick you can play a guitar with it uh, for the, the, the normal way to play the game there it doesn't do anything there's a variant that adds the pick uh, really just kind of takes some of the strategy away and just kind of makes the game a little more random uh, if you're interested in playing the game, the, uh, the playing it that way, the instructions on how to play it with the pick are in the uh, instruction manual. We'll go ahead and take a look at that. But for this uh, for this video, I'm just going to teach you how to play the basic game. So you have the deck of cards, um, and they all have numbers on them. Eight, you know, whatever. They all look like uh, they are a guitar amp dial, uh, and the number is cued to whatever uh, spot on the dial would be, right? There are two special cards in the deck, uh, the 11 and the 0. Uh, they do special things in the middle of the game. I'll explain to you in just a second how they uh, get used. So we're going to set these two aside so I can, can explain with them. And we're going to set this game up for a game of three people. So first thing we do is deal out the cards. Three cards to each player. Uh, you always have three cards in your hand. If you get to the point where you can't get three cards in your hand, that means the game is over and uh, you start counting up your cards to see who won. The, the winner of this game is the person who has collected the least cards over the game. And I'll show you how that's done. So to start the game, we're going to take the top card, flip it over, and that's going to start, that's going to start our pile. Okay? What we're going to try and do is get the pile to go exactly to 11. Uh, if you can get it to go to 11, you get to take the, take the pile, flip it over, and give it to one of the other players, uh, increasing the total number of cards they've collected. Uh, you want to be, be doing this as much as possible because you want to be collecting the least amount of cards. That's, that's, that's the goal. So, on your turn, you can add a card to, card to the pile. So I'll take a look at the cards I have here. Uh, 2, 1, and 5. I can't uh, get it up to 11, but I'm not going to go past 11. So, in this case, I have something special I can do. I have a second 5. Now, I can't play uh, the same number twice on top of each other, but I can make a second pile with it. Right. So, it helps me not go to 11. Uh, and also creates more opportunities to use cards. So played the played the second five down. I'm going to draw another card, so I'm back up to three, and then it's going to be the next player's turn. The next player is going to take a look at their cards. Oh wow, look at all those fives. For this uh, for this example, we're not going to make another pile. What we'll do is just add one of these cards to it. So they're going to play the three on top of the first pile. Uh, that then say eight. So this stack is now gone from five plus three. Now it's eight. Draw their card. Go up. Uh, and the next player's turn to go. They're going to take a look at their pile and take a look at what's in their hand. Uh, so this is at 8. Uh, this one's at 5. Can't play the 8 because that would take, take someone over. If, if they were to play this card at this point, they would have to keep the, card, keep the pile themselves. So anytime you go over, thir over 11, uh, then you have to keep the pile. So for this, uh, for this for argument's sake, we're going to ha have them play the 8 card. Uh, they're going to go over 11, so they have to flip the cards over and keep them to themselves, right? Still have to drop drop cards for their turn and play. Now, come, now it's going to come back to my turn. Now, I have a special card, so the first special card we're going to talk about is the zero card. The zero card takes the pile immediately down to zero. So here I have this pile at eight. Um, uh, I can immediately make the pile zero, so now we're starting over at zero and draw a card. Now, let's say that I had this card in my hand, right? Uh, at any time it's my turn and I have 11 in my hand, I can play the card, immediately takes the pile up to 11, regardless of what card's been played. So if it had been at 8 and I play the 11 card, the, the stack is at 11. If it's at 0 and I play the 11 card, card the stack goes to 11. Um, when you get the stack to go exactly to 11, you flip it over and you give it to uh, whichever player you want. Right? 
And the last thing that you have to know about the cards is if someone has played the 11 card, no matter who has it, they can pull out a zero card of their hand, play it out of turn, and put it on top of the pile. That person has now uh, shushed the 11, and they get, to pit, they get to flip the card over and give it to the person who played the 11. So the 11 has a chance of, of giving someone a, a big stack of cards, also run the risk of keeping that stack to yourself. So beware. All right, we're going to keep playing this game until somebody cannot draw a, uh, another card up to go to 11 or the, we can't recreate a new, uh, new stack to start with. At that point, we count up the cards in our stack, and whoever has the least amount of cards wins the game. That is essentially how you play This Game Goes to 11. Like I said, it's uh, a great game for families. You can play up to six people with it. Uh, any more, and you're going to run out of cards too fast. Uh, so I would, I would stick to around six, uh, but it's great for a uh, family game night, especially if you have some, uh, some early counters. Uh, they're uh, going to help with their uh, math skills a little bit. This game is on our shelves here uh, at uh, Fair Game in Downers Grove and uh, in LaGrange, so you can, uh, you can pick it up uh, or you can uh, order it online. Um, it's also on our website. It's This Game Goes 11 by Game Right Games, and uh, we hope you enjoy it.